An exciting moment here tonight as finally we will settle some scores. The WWE Universe is extremely excited as we get set for WWE action. Tonight we find out if you reach the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, or if you perish trying to capture your dream. And what a great way to start us off. Singles action on tap right now. Pure gold. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 232 pounds. Erratic, strange, what an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Dash Wilder is a master of getting things back on track and executing his plan to perfection. While that's definitely true, Byron, Dash has had difficulty during singles competition. But I attribute that to mediocre officiating by the referees. Just 
before putting on the gold latex, the face paint, and the blonde wig, Goldust was known as Dustin Rhodes, the son of iconic WWE Hall of Famer, the America Dream Dusty Rhodes. As Dustin, he was known as a great tag team competitor and contender for many singles championships. As Goldust, well, things went to another level. Dustin Rhodes has spoken extensively on the pressures of trying to step out of his father's shadow. The persona of Goldust came at the perfect time for the son of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Goldust has said in various interviews that it took him about nine months to finally be comfortable as Goldust. But he knew once the gold face paint was applied that the idea of Dustin Rhodes in the ring was a thing of the past. That kick will stop me you in your tracks. Drop down. Incoming. Just watching it. 
He's doing it for all those gold dust fans around the globe. Goldust is an expert in mental and emotional manipulation, and if you can't defend against the Bizarre One's mind games, you're going to get the type of close-up that you just don't want. Goldust picking his spot. His moment. The curtain call. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Goldust can attack an adversary in so many ways. If an opponent is unable to block out the Bizarre One's assault on their psyche, Goldust will become that individual's worst nightmare. Goldust likes to distract his opponents with peculiar behavior, so an opponent must find a way to ignore those types of antics, regardless of how bizarre and alarming they may be, and focus on defeating Goldust, the competitor. showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Goldas. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. This next match might be every bit as good as the last one. Singles action on tap right now.
making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 229 pounds, the action champion, Kenny Omega champion. Oh man, there it is. We have unofficially started here. Beautiful technique. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. He's starting to stumble here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy oh. in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Struggling a bit here. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh, man. His chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking oh. on so much punishment. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Oh, targeting the stomach. You might just point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut.
the slam! Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. He's making a statement here with this attack. What a match! Brutal face buster. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scene counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him, he's wide open for attack. Face first. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nailed it. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Regarding Corey's point about Superstar, he's looking at it. Boom! <laughs> this one's over, guys! Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Uh-oh. Oh, right to the skull. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Well, you should go with him, Byron. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's on the defensive here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is harsh impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. <sighs> Gonna have to compartmentalize some of the pain that's been dished out and find a way to forge on. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. You only got one. Make your last shot count. He might have it. Believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. 
Oh my God! There's the cover. Can he do it? Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. Wow. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Going for broke. Look at this. Oh, big height, bigger impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? We got a cover. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner, Psycho. Big pinfall victory here tonight. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. It's hard to ignore the buzz coming from this Tampa crowd tonight. I hope everybody at home enjoyed this match as well. These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Singles action on tap right now. Lock the doors. Hide oh, your kids. The Hide your wife. Fringe is in the house. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. He can be technically savvy. He can brawl with the best. Dean Ambrose, he's an anomaly. No, he's not, Byron. He's nuts. The guy may sleep in a bedroom with padded walls, but one thing is undeniable. When Ambrose steps inside the ring, he is dangerous and one of the best in recent history.
Jericho's done everything there is to do in WWE and beyond. Now he's a huge rock star touring the world with Fozzie. Is there anything Jericho can't do? Uh, I'm going to say absolutely not. Jericho likes me. You know what happens, Byron, when you think Jericho likes you? Don't say you it. You know what happens? Don't say it. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And the beauty of this falls count anywhere match means we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up the Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent ink. I thought it was just a rumor. Big elbow. Elbow drop with authority. Wow. Elbow. Oh, Jericho struggling a bit. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. Hey, you're going to get hurt in a match oh, like man. this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. While Chris Jericho's father played in the NHL, Y2J's love outside WWE is music. For years, Chris Jericho's been the front man for the heavy metal band Fozzy. The band has toured the world and released seven albums since the year 2000. Y2J also has one of the most popular podcasts on the internet, aptly named Talk Is Jericho. Bulldog! Delivered with force. Of all the things Chris Jericho does outside of the world of sports entertainment, the lead singer for Fozzie and the host of the smash hit Talk is Jericho podcast is also a graduate of the famous Groundling sketch comedy troupe in Los Angeles, California. And let's not forget, Cole, that Y2J is a New York Times best-selling author. Chris Jericho could probably put the skates on right now and be signed to an NHL contract if he really wanted to. Chris Jericho's that impressive as a renaissance man, an athlete, and a human being. If you're going up against Chris Jericho, you can't allow him to get an early advantage. Chris is versatile enough and mean enough to maintain it. Make sure that you regret it. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Earlier, Corey, you talked about Chris Jericho getting an early advantage and keeping it. Anyone who opposes Y2J needs to make sure he doesn't have that opportunity. There's no way an opponent of Chris Jericho's can allow him to take an early advantage. I don't mean just for the match's sake, but for the sake of your career. Jericho can be as ruthless as they come. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. His shoulders are down. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Nailed it. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Oh, Chris Jericho is in a tough spot here. You might just have nothing left to give, guys. Whether you love him or hate him, if you're human, oh. you have to feel for him right now. Speaking of that classic Charlotte-Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd surrounded by the WWE Universe. Two. 
suplex. The owner of literally dozens of championships, there is nothing Chris Jericho hasn't done here in WWE. To put it bluntly, the man is an absolute legend. assessment of Jericho's legendary legacy, Corey. Here's a guy who is not only a Grand Slam champion, he's also held the Intercontinental Championship an unparalleled nine times. And a WrestleMania main event, Cole. Not a lot of people could say they've closed the biggest show in all of live entertainment, but Jericho did just that in front of a crowd of nearly 70,000 in his home country of Canada. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. He's got him covered. Impact. Ah. So much force there. Disrespectful shove there. And look at Suplex! Oh. You gotta believe this one's over! Oh, ah. oh boy, he is rolling! Ah. Oh. oh, what impact! This is not going to end well. Somebody call a carpenter. Yeah! Not on the desk! Are you kidding me? That should do it. All that's left now is for Ambrose to finish this. Here's Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is just a step behind there, guys. Dean Ambrose is in trouble here, but you still have to be careful. Oh, man, Dean Ambrose is really feeling the pressure. Oh. Yeah, to 
would think at some point this would happen. At some point, Ambrose would weaken. Wow, Dean Ambrose is being controlled now. What's it? Oh, what a slam that hurt. to have a seat. The WWE Universe is coming unglued. An absolute fever pitch here. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Who knows what's gonna happen? This match could go anywhere! Oh. <laughs> This is not where you want to be. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What's he going to do with it? Dean Ambrose is in trouble here, but you still have to be careful. Oh, man, Dean Ambrose is really uh. feeling the pressure. Yeah. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. Uh. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're coming to you live from sunny Tampa on the west coast of Florida. Oh, we. Oh. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? I just can't get over the physicality of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Uh, and it's Ambrose showing some agility. Uh. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Ugh. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor Ugh. miracle to keep one of them down. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We appreciate you choosing WWE. Oh. Ambrose starting to struggle now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere uh. where he thrives. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. <laughs> Bang! Oh. Dirty deeds. Here's his moment, Michael. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. Wow, I am impressed. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. You gotta wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that oh. can help you end up with a victory. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, and that's the impact. around the world on the WWE Network. WWE fans are glued to their sets watching this match. 
So good to be back in Tampa tonight. There are so many rabid oh. WWE fans here in the Sunshine State. These competitors trying to keep their wits about oh. them. Hopefully this WWE action is helping you get through those midweek blues. Ugh. Not good for the back and body. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Watch the northern lights. Uh, he can turn it on uh, in a hurry. He's fighting back uh, here. I expected nothing uh, less, Cole. He's making a statement here with this attack. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Some might say that it wasn't a wise oh. move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangman. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Yeah! Ooh, what impact! It might be cliche, but it's true here. And yeah. it's over till it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ooh. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Beautiful technique. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, yeah. but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Yeah. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just perfect plex. This one is over. I think Dean Ambrose just secured this match. Whoa, oh. Jericho able to avoid damage. What a cagey maneuver. Oh. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt to yeah. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. Here, oh, breaker. That was nasty. But can he follow up here? Cover here. And it's Ambrose 
Oh, oh, stop the count. Oh, oh. Way too early. Chaos. Melee. Pandemonium. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This has been a battle. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment no. like that. Nailed it. A minor yeah. miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Oh. Vicious strike. Yeah. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing yeah. injured just goes along with the territory. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Dodges a bullet there. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. Got yeah. the ring. Uh. Uh. What impact. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely yeah. competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. Oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! You gotta believe this one's over! Going for the cover. One! Digging deep for a kick out! Gonna take more to get out of the Ambrose Asylum. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. If I hear one more person tell me about yeah. how brave this superstar is for competing injured, yeah. I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Yeah. The intensity of this yeah. match oh, oh. has been incredible. Oh, oh, oh. oh nasty impact. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Yeah. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step yeah. out of the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Yeah. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so yeah. we're told. Ooh. I'm not so sure I believe it. Probably wise not to focus yeah. too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster Ooh. is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. Suplex. He has something big planned. Wow, Dean Ambrose is being controlled now. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. 
I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Oh man, Dean Ambrose is really feeling the pressure. While the medical staff might say otherwise, oh, oh. this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior yeah. to the match. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Ooh. What a brutal beating we've seen just uh. out so far here tonight. Bam! What a slam! I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. I can't believe yeah. everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so quick. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Oh. Oh. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with him. He shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Ah. Boy, this has just been pandemonium yeah. counter here. Yeah. No reverses it. Keep in mind, this superstar oh. competing hurt tonight. Oh. Oh. So oh. Oh. I'm not so sure I believe it. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes yeah. along with the territory. Uh -huh. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight, or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Yeah! Oof. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior to the match. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. When this guy's on, look out. Mention of Gutierrez. Oh, absolutely planted. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh man, what a hit. 
knocked right off the apron. And a pin attempt. One. Dean Ambrose kicks out easily there. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Suplex. Nice. He can turn it on in a hurry. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Keep in mind, this superstar's can whack. Michael, that gives you meaning to have a seat. Uh. Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. Can he finish him off here? This night could be over for Chris Jericho. Yeah. Back in from the floor. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Gets out of the way of that one. A little lion saw the action. Shoulders on the back. Two, Two three. Chris Jericho did it. Chris Jericho got a huge win. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. You heard the ring announcer, this one's over. And here's your winner. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible. It's now time for our main event. Sit tight for singles action coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 216 pounds, the world television champion, the Nightmare Remember, the title's Cody not on the line here, Rose. but I'd be shocked if that changes the champ's outlook on this match. I would too, Cole. The champ is a professional, and a true pro goes out there and gives 100% every single time, regardless of the situation. And guys, despite the title not being on the line, this is still very much a big match. Of course it is, Cole. This is an opportunity for the champ to prove exactly how dominant he is. And trust me, he doesn't take these opportunities lightly. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Beautiful technique. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. While well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage, they must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. This might be it! Oh, my! What a strike! Knee drop!
Oh, my. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, this capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Tonight may not be his night, guys. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. Beautiful technique. Oh, he turns it around. Harsh impact. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. And the Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage. This could be all she wrote. I want to destroy your face. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Byron, before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. And the Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Impact. Nailed it. Boom, what impact. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Oh, nasty impact. It's all about desperation, survival inside these steel surroundings. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Steel cage matches never failed to surprise and amaze. No doubt about it, he brought his A game as you can see here.
impressive showing there en route to the win. This is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. That main event may have raised more questions than provide answers. We'll find out next time. See you soon, everybody.